Welcome everyone to another edition of Bosco Racing. Tonight is a non-points race and we have a couple of, uh, you know, unregular drivers in the field with actually Boston making an appearance tonight. So the uh, racer who hasn't been around for a while, he's doing a stint in the Navy, so uh, he has not been here to race, but he's going to put on a show tonight. You look for him in the red, white, and blue American flag pattern helmet. He will be here, and he will be racing very well. He's uh, historically been a good racer throughout this uh, this series, and I expect nothing less than him today as he passes the screen. We got the tires warmed up. You can see the racers are getting ready for that green flag start. It's expected to be a good one tonight. We are running the super track, so half the track is indoor and the half the track is outdoor. And here we go. Let's get that green flag going. You can see single file, first time out the door. We got a new camera here. New camera high above that turn. Oh, and we also have another camera down in the hairpin. You can see everybody's making it. Wow, we're already going too wide through the hairpin. Look at this, too wide up through the highway stretch. And wow, they're entering this building at a massive rate of speed. Here we go through the horseshoe turn. You can see we're gonna pick it up into the S turns and everybody seems to be getting through without incident at this time. As I said, tonight's a non-points race. However, you're not gonna see anything less than a maximum amount of competition from these drivers. Here we go, down into the hairpin turn again, into the highway stretch, single file this time. Oh, until you get here, into this turn here, you can see they're starting to dice it up. They are carrying a lot of speed back into the building through the horseshoe turn, maintaining pretty good control. And let's see, right now we got Gio as our leader. We got Austin, the, the Rizzler in second and third. And here we go, down the street, down into the freeway turn. Some pretty good turning right there. High rate of speed. It's not easy coming down that. It's a bumpy section of track. And then when they come back down through there, you can feel the bumps and it upsets the cart quite a bit. <laughs> Here we go, Geo, the Rizzler, Austin 85, Steve C, Boston, all making their way through the pack. Boston's already running pretty far up in the field. Very common for him. Here we go, down into the turn again. Oh, Boston and Steve C, go! And there's a major accident. Oh no. Number one dad gets into the back of Boston and Steve C. After Boston and Steve C spin out. I, I think Boston doesn't have any brakes. You can see the weight just flew right out of his cart. Wow, we, stand by for the end of the race. We will do a replay for that one. Here we go, back to green flag racing. Single file out the building. Oh no, not single file. Going two by two immediately. And we're dicing it up even more into the hairpin turn. Look at this, two by two in the free race stretch. And look at the speed that they're carrying around this bend and back into the building. Gio's got well, good control over his cart and he's maintaining that lead, maintaining that position nicely. Oh, we got an issue here. Looks like Langford is taking off his seatbelt. Ah, uh, looks like some card issues for Langford. He's either got a seat adjustment that has to happen here, or maybe some weight in his card shifted. I'm not sure. As you can see, folks, we're carrying two by two into that hairpin turn. And the problem with racing isn't going in a straight line. It's when you have to take a hairpin turn like that, carry your speed through the turn, and head back in the other direction. We'll call that stretch right there the freeway stretch outside. 
Right now we're in the front stretch and the drivers are all lined up. Langford, here we go. He's back and running. That's good. And he'll be back into the back of the pack and we'll be getting ready to go. And here we go. Back to green flag racing. You got Gio, the Rizzler, Austin 85, Steve C coming in right behind them. Look at this, two by two into the hairpin. Two by two, two by two. Who's going to benefit from this one? Number one, Dad's got that inside lane. Let's see what happens here. Number one, Dad in the pink shirt. He is able to capitalize two by two through this turn, coming back into the building. He's got to pick his lane. Here we go, number one, Dad, all the way up to fourth position. And headed through the S-turns. Oh, look at this. Blood Moon tries to make a move to the inside of the outside. Number one, Dad, with the better lane. Blood Moon, Langford, Steve C. All want that spot that number one, Dad, has. Number one, Dad's in the pink. Brian coming up the tail with the yellow shirt on this evening. Austin 85 is running a hell of a lap right through there, right through the hairpin. He's sticking like he's on rails. The front three right now just seem to be making it through that hairpin turn so much better than the rest of the field. I mean, they are on rails. Yeah, Geo, Austin 85, the Rizzler, number one dad, Langford follow number one dad, Blood Moon, Steve C, Brian, and Boston. Boston looks a little shaken up after that hard, hard collision down here in the hairpin turn. Look at Geo, a little counter steer making it through that, that turn. Two by two, coming through the freeway turn. Back into the building, super hard, super fast. As we were talking about, uh, stay around for the end of the race and we will recap that major accident. Uh, we'll have a couple of different replays, a couple of different looks for you to analyze and make your own decision what happened. Oh, look at this, number one dad getting past, coming out of the building, but he maintains it into the hair hairpin turn. Is that little blood moon right on his tail? When they're going side by side back into the building, I'll tell you that takes a certain amount of effort and a certain amount of courage to do that. It is not easy to trust that the other driver is going to give you the room to get back into the building first off. Um, it's not an easy thing to do, but they're doing a great job of doing it. Staying off each other and keeping this race running green. These three are on rails, first three, number one dot <coughs> sliding through that turn with Blood Moon hot on his tail. There we go, Blood Moon number one dad into the S-turns. Blood Moon with a beautiful push pass, making a pass number one dad. Number one dad doesn't want to let that spot go. And then he's got Blood Moon right behind him. He's proverbially sandwiched between two of the most technical drivers. Langford is one heck of a technical driver for sure. You can see him coming down the path. Oh, number one dad crashes into the wall for no reason. Looked like he was trying to lift, let Langford in, and then thought he had more track to the right-hand side when he went to pull him behind, and he did not. He went halfway up the wall. What an idiot move. I mean, uh, you know. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So that puts number one dad back behind Langford. Langford kind of runs away with it. Now Steve C's on his tail. After that first crash, I don't think number one's dad's head is totally into racing. He's the one who uh, collided with Boston. Yep, there he goes. Passed by Steve C down the back front stretch. Steve C coming in, number one dad, Brian, and Bosco finishing up the final three positions. Let's look at our front three. We got Geo, Austin, the, Riz, uh, the Rizzler, Blood Moon. Blood Moon's hungry for the Rizzler spot there, followed by Austin. You can never count anyone in this top five out. They are always racing their hardest. And you know what? They're putting on a show tonight. Let's follow that. Oh, wait a minute here, back in the pack. Brian, number one dad, giving every effort to make it through. And Boston, still a little shaken up by his accident. Gets caught up in the hairpin. 
But as we were talking, look at this front five. We got these guys are racing their tails off. Geo still leading the race. Austin. Oh, here we go. Blood Moon making the pass on the Rizzler. Blood Moon makes the pass. It's so technical. You, you don't even know he's going by. He's got a great car tonight, great driver, and great ability. Number one dad wants to get back up to Steve C, but Steve C's running that car on rails through the hairpin. Got this camera, there's Steve C coming into the building. Number one dad, Brian. Coming back into the building, and these guys here, there's Bosco. These guys here are already headed back out of the building. I would say they're almost a full lap ahead right now, this front five. One, two, three, four, five. Choo, 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 choo. Let's see if we can't get some volume of them coming through this turn. Sounds great. You know, when Gio's got fresh air, there's not, it's not easy to catch that guy. I'll tell you what. He's just running his hot laps around this track. He knows this track so well. He's been racing here for a long time, knows the ins and outs, knows how to get the best times out of his carts. And uh, since the end of the point season, he has been on a roll. Final, if you remember final race of the season, he got two back-to-back -back wins in a double header. Followed up by, I believe the following week, a second place finish. And he's doing well tonight, placed himself good tonight. Oh, there he goes, passed by Blood Moon, however. Blood Moon is moving. Right now he's there, Blood Moon, Geo, Austin 85, The Rizzler, and Langford. And Steve C making up a little bit of ground. These two won't make up any ground by racing each other, but they're having a blast. That's Brian and number one dad having a great time racing back in the field. Always fun to watch these two. Pink shirt. <laughs> oh, Brian gets into the back of him a little bit. Oh, he's so courteous gonna give that spot back. Brian is so good at applying pressure into the, into the horseshoe, into the S-turns, and boy, when he applies it, he'll let you know he's there. He tries to race clean, so he gave that spot back to number one dad. But that's not the end of that. It's going to be some fun racing watching. Here they are, coming down into the hairpin right now. Number one dad's turning that car relatively good. Brian's staying right with him. Funny enough, people, in a 25-lap race, if you're even a half a second behind, you know, that's 12 seconds, you know, over the course of a race, and you can seriously lose some ground. With this, with this first five kind of drafting each other and pushing and running each other hard, uh, it makes it hard for that second pack to catch up. But now we got three distinct packs, and Steve C being the only one in the middle pack, but running his race, trying to get... Trying to close the gap. Sometimes you can end up out there in no man's land and really not find a race. And sometimes you can find a race in the back of the pack that's just as good as if you were racing at the front of the pack. It all depends on, you know, what cart you have and what you want to do with it. There's Bosco, well off the pace right now, but still continuing to you know, participate in this race. He's just trying to get his marbles back. He got rocked in that earlier crash. Back into the building is Langford. You can see the lead Blood Moon has. He's the leader, he just passed. And we got Geo, Austin 85, Langford, the Rizzler. And those top 85 and those top five. Oh, the Rizzler, Steve C is now back up to the Rizzler. Let's see if we can catch that race coming up here. Right here, the Rizzler and uh, Steve C are back at it, coming back into the building. You can see Steve C is hungry for that extra position. Will he get it? 
Geo, Austin Langford, the Rizzler, Steve C, back out of the building. Good times up here at Pioneer Valley Indoor Karting. As the track warms up, as the temperatures outside warm up, we'll be running outside more often. You can come back and race over here uh, with the public, or uh, if your times are fast enough, come and join us for league. Typically, um, you don't have to qualify for league, but if you, um, you know, if you're coming to look to race for league, you should be able to run a low 36 on the outside uh, track. If uh, we're running indoors, you should be able to run low 19s, and that is on a consistent basis. Show up on Wednesday evening, six o'clock, and we'll get you into league. Otherwise, racing here and racing the public is uh, open seven days a week. Oh, look at this, number one dad and Brian. <laughs> About as evenly matched as you can get right now. Running side by side, heading up through the turn. Oh, and there he goes, side by side through this turn and back into the building. These two love to race each other. Should be a good time. And Brian claims the spot. He knew he was pounding on the door and he was gonna eventually get in. We're coming in uh, up on 16 minutes of this race, folks. These racers are giving everything they have to close any gap that there might be, but it's a relatively single file race right now. And as you can see, we're taking the white flag right now. That is Blood Moon in the lead. Boston, there's lap traffic coming through. Out this order coming around. That was Boston. Here's where the real race is happening, right here, folks. Geo, Blood Moon. Or sorry, Geo, Langford, Austin. There we go. There's our winner, folks. Blood Moon wins the race again. I'll tell you what, this kid knows how to race, that's for damn sure. Rest of the check. Oh, <laughs> Austin with a little blooper there after the checkered flag. Forgot there was a wall there, like the earlier move that number one dad did outside. And there comes the final two, number one dad and Brian. Look at number one dad and Brian showing a little bit of sportsmanship on the way out of the building. Here we go, folks. Stay tuned for the accident replay. Payal. Ouch. It is going to be interesting. Let's see if we can't analyze, you know, what all happened at the hairpin turn earlier in this race, I believe around lap four. You know, something totally, um, you know, unexpected. But let's take a look at this crash replay and see what happened. Here we go, coming out of the building, you can see everyone's nut the butt. Coming down to the bottom of the screen, Steve C gets out of position, Boston gets into it, oh! And then shortly after, number one dad crashes into Bosco. Replay number two. Here we go, in super slow motion, you can see him coming down the hill, Steve C, Bosco gets into him with no break. And then number one dad, Payow, decides to send Boston's head in a different direction than the rest of his body. Ow! Whoops. Boston looks visibly shaken, but you can see, you know, with all the drivers stopping to check on him, make sure he's uh, alive. Replay number three. Let's watch this whole action in reverse. Here we go. Boston's foot's out of his cart right there. Oh my gosh, you can see his head spin. Wow. If you're watching this, you know how painful that crash is. And let's one more time in replay number four and regular speed. Coming out of the building and here it goes. <clears throat> That's all I got for you tonight, folks. So subscribe and like this video.